Grifter number zero, written by Rob Liefeld and Frank Thierry, art by Scott Clark. It's, I guess, an origin story. So we open up with Grifter running on a rooftop with a guy named Lynch and his brother Max, and they're all geared up. And immediately Grifter's like, wait a minute, something about this doesn't seem right. I, I can't put my finger on it, but something's going on here. Also, this is Team 7 business. So... They break into some compound, they start shooting guys, and then Richard's like, wait a minute, hold on, Max wasn't on Team 7, and Lynch was, but he never geared up. What the heck is going on here? And they make their way into some random place that I guess is bad or whatever. Grifter pulls out his gun, aims it at his brother's head, and then shoots Lynch as well. And when he shoots Lynch, some random dude in a hoodie shows up. And Grifter's like, wait a minute, I know that guy, but I've never met that guy, but I know that guy. And then we see that he's actually in some sort of, like, VR deep trance thing where every, he's part of some facility and they're like, okay, so um, we're trying to, you know, program him to believe certain things. And long story short, these are Daemonites. Daemonites who have kidnapped Cole Cash because they're trying to get him to be a weapon for them against Hellspot. Okay? I'm not saying it again. So then we see the dude in the hoodie who's posing as like a homeless guy or something. He comes up to the Daemonite stronghold. There are some guards outside. He just kicks the crap out of them while one-lining the whole time, makes his way inside, takes out all the other guards he finds on the way there, and makes his way to Cole. And he's like, hey, Cole, today's your graduation day and he shoots out the vat that cole was being held in picks him up and then just jumps out the window with him and cole is out of it but as soon as this guard comes to attack him he's able to just like high kick this guy in the face and then pass out again and the hoodie guy explodes the whole daemonite facility as they make their way uh away from it in the back of a garbage truck so hoodie guy makes his way to a hotel he puts down cole on a bed and he just tells him like hey there's a lot of other people out there like yourself not everybody makes it but i'm gonna give you the things you need cole's unconscious mind you he doesn't hear any of this so he puts a bag full of like you know a new identity new documents stuff like that on cole's bed and says like all right well Eventually, they're going to figure things out and come after you again, and I hope that you're uh, ready for that because I'm not sure I'm going to be able to help you again, but we'll see each other around, I'm sure. So he, he, as he walks out, Cole wakes up again, and he's like, oh, okay, so I woke up. This happened again. This is now the third time this has happened where I wake up, no idea where I am, there's a note next to me that's signed W, and there's a bag with new documents in it. Well, guess I better get on with it then. And that's just where it leaves off. I don't even know what happened. I, so he was being programmed by the Daemonites, and then this dude who I guess works either for Hellspont or on the third side against the Daemonites goes against... And, like, gets him out and then sets him up with a new identity so that the Daemonites can't find him again. That's what I got. That's all I can tell that happened. But, like, in issue one of this series, he was just a grifter. He was just a dude. If he remembers this has happened three times already, clearly he would have, like, more questions. Like, this is not something that just happens where you just wake up with a new life at your feet. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting a bit too pedantic with it, but it just seems like this directly goes against like the first arc of the story, which admittedly was not written by Rob Liefeld or Frank Thierry, but still, it had to have something, you know? So, I think this is a... This is a 6.5. A lot of that is the art. Scott Clark does a fantastic job here playing with shadows and making everything look good. Um, but yeah, writing-wise, I just... this If the Zero issues were supposed to be like origin points and like explaining things this did nothing to explain anything was he always did he always have these telekinetic powers that rob liefeld introduced or is that why was the daemonites putting that into him i don't know and this did nothing to help me in that so i give it a 6.5 it's not good mm -hmm.